Yes, them of the heart of a pagan The children of the heart of a lion I know He will a move with Satan Righteous trod in the countenance of the Almighty One Them of the heart of demons The children of the heart of a lion I know He will a move with Satan Right, just walk in the countenance of the Almighty One so, Good so. people see hostility rising daily Shalom, this is the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge in Atlanta, Georgia. The subject we're going to break down today is the Bible being written by men. Okay, a lot of times when we bring out the truth, we bring out the scriptures, everybody want to say, well, the Bible is written by a man. How can you go by what a man say? We're going to prove that that's incorrect according to the scriptures. A lot of people don't know the Bible. The Bible was not written by men. And when I say that, I mean the Bible wasn't written by a man's own opinion and he wrote it down. Of course, any book you read was written down by a man, but we're going to prove how the Bible was, you know, illustrated, how it was um, written according to the scriptures, okay? Remember, class is being held at the Central Branch Library in downtown Atlanta. Uh, any questions you have on schedules of classes, call 404-997-9123. Next class will be October 19th, uh, that's Saturday, at the Central Branch Library downtown. You have the phone number, make sure you call that number if you have any questions. It's at 3 o'clock. Um, the first scripture we're going to pull, okay, in the King James Bible, you understand, is First Peter's, it's like the Second Peter's, uh, the 21st verse, okay? A lot of people say, well, the Bible is written by man, or King James wrote the Bible. One, King James did not write the Bible, you understand? He translated the Bible, meaning it was written in a different language. He brought it in English so you could read it. You understand? It wasn't written by King James. It was translated by King James. You understand? We understand that the Bible was written in Hebrew and in Greek, and it was uh, um, translated into English. But we're going to read first, Second Peter's verse 21. It says, For the prophecy came not in all time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Okay? So what is that saying? It's saying the prophecy that came didn't come of man, meaning... When the, when the scripture said you'll go into Egypt again by ships, you see your homeland never again, back in Deuteronomy 28, verse 68, okay, meaning that didn't come by a man's own will. He, uh, uh, like a single man couldn't prophesy that. That came from the Most High, but a man wrote it, a man told the children that. A man told the people, Moses told Israel that this is what happened, and a man had to write it down so we could understand it, we could read it, okay? So that prophecy did not come by the will of man, but it came, it came from the Most High. And it says, But holy men, holy meaning separate, not your average Joe, not the average guy, but holy men uh, um, of God, of the power, spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. As they were moved by the Spirit, they wrote these scriptures down so we can read it. And it said, They come from their own opinion. You understand? Like if you watch the Idol Street Cat, you see the brothers on the street corner, they're not saying things that's of their own opinion. It's come, you can go in the scriptures and and, 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 and and you know see what exactly what those men are saying. It's not coming from their own opinion. But you have people like false prophets, you have people like Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, whoever else, they say the things that come from their own opinion. You understand? You have people that whatever religion they're a part of, that comes from their own opinion. That's what religion is. Religion is man made. That's their own opinion, how they feel. You understand? What they research and then take a little you know, a piece of here and a piece of there, and then they come up with their own religion, and then they tell you to do this. That's their own opinion. But what the men of the IHBK uh, do is say exactly what's coming from the scriptures, and it's not coming from the will of man. The Bible wasn't written by a man, but it was written by men who were told what to say by the Most High, by the Spirit of the Most High. Okay, let's go to Isaiah. Go to the Old Testament. Let's go to Isaiah verse, chapter 30. You understand? Because it's funny, like, every book you've read, every book that you research, being black people, we research so many books, and we never question any other book. We never say it was written by a man. Any book that you read, 
was written by man. But when it comes to the Bible, when it comes to the scriptures and correction, now we have a problem with it being written by man. Because now it's telling you you can't get high, you can't smoke weed, you can't have sex with whores, you can't be a homosexual. It corrects you. So now you've got a problem because now you say, don't judge me, it was written by man. You understand? But it's really coming from the Most High. Isaiah 30, verse 8. Now go, write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be for time, like it, that it may be for the time to come forever and ever. Meaning, the Most High said to do this. If the Most High or the Spirit of the Most High told a man to write what he heard in a book. So generations and generations could read it and, and correct themselves and live by it and understand what the Most High want them to do. You're not about to speak to the Most High one on one, personally. You understand? Man is going to write down what is supposed to be done and you read it and you teach it to your children. You understand? So, the Bible wasn't written by men in the sense of the ideas of the Bible or the correction of the Bible, but for to translate it and for you to understand it and to bring it out, it was written by man. But like like the most high told the men what to write. You understand? It's his opinion, it's his word, is what he wants to have done, written by men so generations can read it. In a book. Just like any book. You know what I'm saying? You never question your teacher about the book you read in. Like you understand, like you've always read books and learned and did what you had to do. But you know it's written by a man. But when it comes to the Bible, we always have some sort of like resentment like it was written by a man only because it's cutting you. It's cutting your lifestyle. It's, it's, it's uncomfortable because it's not what you want to do. It's not, you like, if you can't smoke weed, you say, well, the Bible is written by a man. They can't tell me what to do. You understand? Like, that's the problem. You understand? So, any book that you've ever read was written by a man, but the Bible was written by the inspiration of God. Meaning, like, the, the Spirit of God was on men to tell you how to live. Alright? Let's go to 2 Timothy. Now, 2 Timothy is going to bring out more of what I'm saying so you can understand it. 2 Timothy 3 verse 16 it says, All scripture is given by the inspiration of God. That's what I've been saying. All scriptures, everything you read in the Bible is by the inspiration of the Most High Power. And is profitable for doctrine, for reproof. Reproof means for correction, for okay, for correction, for instruction and in righteousness. You understand? So all the prophets brought out what the Most High wanted, and it's profitable for instruction, for correction. And that's what black people, so-called blacks, Hispanic, Native American, Indians, Hispanics, that's what we don't like. We don't like correction. We don't like anyone telling us how we live and is wrong. We don't like being told what we can and cannot do. We want to be a lawless people, and but you see where that get us. Being a lawless people get us death. It gets us being on the bottom. It gets all the nations put above us. Then we follow all other religions. So the Bible is written by men, but by the inspiration of the Most High. You understand? So, but the Bible is not written by a man's opinion. Moses didn't come out his own opinion. You understand? Isaiah not out of his own opinion. Jeremiah not his own opinion. The brothers that go out on the street and teach the truth, it's not coming from their own opinion. That's why we say precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. All the brothers bring out a scripture. And they can prove it, and they can break it down, they can prove it, and they get another scripture, and they can prove it. You understand? So it's not our own opinion. But we're saying that what was coming out the most high, what the most high wanted us to bring out. You understand? And, and that's that. You understand? That's the proof. That's, just a, that's three scriptures proving that the Bible is not written by men, and there's so many more. You understand? But for the sake uh, of the class, I just want to bring out those three scriptures. If you have any questions, call 404-997-9123. Classes in the Central Branch Library, downtown Atlanta, October 19th at the next class. Remember to pay your tithes to the ISBK, 10% of whatever the Most High I give you. If you get $100, you pay 10%. You understand? It's part of the law. Part of the law, you got to follow the law. No law is done away with, it's, uh, uh, including tithes and any other law. Cutting your beard, not being a whore, not being a homosexual, not eating pork. We've been over it and over it so many times. You understand that you're supposed to be paying your tithes. You understand? With that, I'm gonna say shalom. Yes, them of the heart of a pagan. The children of the heart of a lion, I know. Evil a move with Satan. Righteous shot in the countenance of the Almighty One. Them of the heart of demons. The children of the heart of a lion, I know. Evil a move with Satan. 
Righteous walk in the countenance of the Almighty One good people see hostility rising daily Ignorant multiply brutality We I see that they run gone left mommy Fist struggle they are the road with fight beginning Our I see be 